Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of NZD, USD, New Zealand dollar, US dollar. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist for the analysis of other pairs like USD, JPY, Euro, USD, Pound, USD and many more. So let's get started. So this is the photo start of NZD USD, New Zealand dollar, US dollar in front of us right now. As you can see that I have got two lines drawn here on the chart. So let me explain. If you look at the chart here, then we can clearly see that this market is downtrend. That this market is in downtrend and we get the confirmation from this lower high zone. Whenever market is going down and trying to recover, it is failing to cross the previous high and market is constantly forming lower highs here on the chart therefore this market is under the influence of sellers but on the downside you can see that i have also got a support here this is a dynamic resistance on the chart okay, dynamic resistance on the chart but here I have a static support on the chart, which means that this is a horizontal line, whereas this is just a trend line. Okay, you can see that at 6920, 0 0.6920 level, we have a strong support present on the chart. Whenever market is coming down, this level is providing the required support to the market. And whenever there was a free fall here, there was a sharp selling pressure here on the chart, this was the level that provided support to the market. Therefore, 0 0.6920 is an extremely important support level for the market. Therefore, we have a resistance and we also have a support here. And if we look at the chart here or if we just observe the chart here, then you can easily see that this chart pattern resembles descending triangle pattern descending triangle pattern is generally a bearish triangle pattern and we see a descending triangle pattern in a downtrend market the main characteristic of descending triangle pattern is that we will see a resistance like this market will be forming lower highs here just like this market and on the downside we will have a support like this so this chart typically looks like a descending triangle pattern and in a descending triangle pattern market usually breaks this level and we can short the market here therefore the first trading opportunity or the most safe trading opportunity is wait for the market to come down and break this support level so if we follow the descending triangle pattern theory, then there is a good possibility that market will be crossing this support level. And once market crosses this support level with good volume, then you can short the market. So this is your first trading opportunity. But right now, right now market is trading here. Or if you just look at this present candle stick pattern, then you can see that this looks like a bullish harami pattern okay this looks like a bullish harami pattern my indian brothers and sisters might be laughing because of the word harami here <laughs> but i can't help it uh, it's just the name bullish harami pattern okay so whenever we see a bullish harami pattern like this there is an indication that market may go up also okay so bullish army pattern is a bullish pattern and there is a good possibility that market may go up from here by breaking this line here and if you look at the rsi here okay this is a rsi indicator here you can see that This low and this low. If we join this low, we get a straight line here. But RSI has formed a lower low here. So there is a divergence here. Okay, this is a divergence here. And whenever we get a divergence like this, there is a good possibility that market may go up from here. Okay. So first and foremost, this is a descending triangle pattern. And considering the descending triangle pattern theory, 
we can short the market if market crosses this level 0 0.6920 level okay but right now market is um the current market price is far away from this support level and def and here we can see that there is a divergence as well as a bullish harami pattern and therefore considering these two things there is a good possibility that market may go up from here okay so what i'm saying is that if market goes up from here also please do not buy right away do not be uh, do not be judgmental and do not be impatient do not buy here right away because you cannot deny the fact that this market is in downtrend which means that number of sellers are higher in comparison to number of buyers and moreover market is also following this trend line as a resistance so until and unless market crosses this resistance do not think about buying here this is my request and if you go to the forex sentiment meter here okay this is a forex sentiment meter you will find a forex sentiment meter on my website avilashajarika.com in the forex sentiment meter you can see that 59% um, traders have taken short position which means that they are thinking that market will go down and 40% retail traders have taken long position means that they are thinking the market will be going up so there is not a huge difference between the buyers and the sellers here also uh, and the retail traders are also kind of confused right now they are also in a dilemma right now whether market will be going up or down therefore my dear friend be wise okay wait for the perfect opportunity here okay wait for the market to cross this level if market crosses this level short the market if market goes up from here because of the divergence and the harami pattern here then you can go for buy if market crosses this trend line only clear ah, so this is it hopefully you've understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see you tomorrow again bye bye